you know, we've been through a hell of a lot and it's been a very painful and difficult time. But the thing that is incredible is this. The losses are very painful, but the world is in the middle of an economic slowdown. In the worst time economically in the world, arguably for many, many decades, our small city, the greater area of which contains maybe half a million people, has got a $30 billion economic injection. By the middle of 2013, if not earlier, there will be no unemployment in my city or in my province. I'm 20 to 30,000 skilled workers short of where I need to be for the full rebuild. I'm going to have an economy which will push the New Zealand economy by approximately 25 to 3% of GDP. So in my province that means that my economy is going to be running around 10 to 12% potentially per annum in growth. Those are figures that you would get in only a couple of places in the world. China comes to mind. So we've got an incredible opportunity, not just an economic opportunity, it's a social entrepreneurial, creative opportunity to build a better city with uh, a response to the world as it is today, not the 19th century city that it was responding to the 1800s. This is a new city, uh, understanding sustainability, understanding energy efficiency, understanding safety, understanding how important it is to have an economy that encourages young people. Uh, with, without young people, uh, which is the case for most cities of around that size anywhere in the OECD, right across the Western world. Small cities are dying, they're becoming rest homes. We have a chance to make ours meaningful and vibrant and responsive and therefore uh, appealing to uh, another generation of people and that's at the end of the day my job. My job as a mayor is to sustain my community and ensure that it has a future. So in that way we've been given a great opportunity. Thank you.